All right, here we go. Ralphie's gonna get this thing to take off in his hand. <laughs> there we go. <Yay! laughs> What's up everybody? It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today I'm in Long Island, New York with Ed Rohan from Alter Ecosystems and a bunch of other pond builders, April Frost, Charlie Holland, Alan Decker, I got Ralph Bezat and Sean Frost back there. We are about to tour a really cool property that Ed has done a lot of work on over the last 16 years. Yes. So Ed, what's the backstory of this property? Well, this used to be a 28 acre potato farm and it was subdivided and my client bought two of the subdivisions of it and one property still exists in the middle how many water features are on this property five six six water features so we're gonna go check this out let's go inside The first pond, uh, when I came here, this was all just a field, potato field, and uh, both these two big ponds were built by another pond builder and they were horrible. So we ripped them out, redid them, and over the period of 16 years, it's turned into a park. These ponds hold about $300,000 worth of koi between all the five ponds on the property. And they've collected them over the past few years and they're very specific about them, so enjoy. So Ed, like you mentioned, this place is set up like a park. All these gardens you can walk through from one water feature to the next. Now, were you part of the design of this whole place? I was part of it, yes, with a team of other six other people. All right, so it was a whole team that came together to lay out all these really cool gardens. So we've only seen the very beginning of it. I'm imagining there's quite a bit more here, so let's keep going. Got this great little stepping stone crossover. I like when boulders are in the water like that. You can step on them and you're kind of in the stream and there's that very nice waterfall coming through which you couldn't see unless you actually ventured into the garden. And the one thing I am noticing is all the fishing string that's up around these ponds. Tell me the reason for that. Uh, the birds of prey were eating a lot of the fish obviously so the resident sculptor came up with this idea of these aluminum rods tilted like that and then drilled holes and it keeps all the birds of prey out and protects their fish. Imagine you want to protect your fish when you got a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of them. So I'm here with my friends Charlie Holland and April Frost. You guys come down to Ed's place here every season and you actually clean out these ponds, right? Yes. What's the reason for that? Uh, just the quality of water and health of the fish. And you do a culling, right? Yes, yes. we do. So they actually cull out the fish that are unwanted and you guys take them away. Yep, and this way, homes. whatever's left is actually only the, the best of the best, right? Absolutely. Definitely. Just like Jack, the best of the best. <laughs> I'm not a big talker anymore, but you'll find some. <laughs> My boy, Ralphie. Ralphie, what do you think of this place so far? Amazing. I mean, this is better than uh, any aquatic gardens that I've ever seen out in uh, my region of the world. It really, and the fact that it's so sprawling. I didn't, I've never been to, to uh, Long Island before. I didn't imagine there was this much space. And it's very cool to see how big and expansive this property is and with these water features integrated with all these different walking paths I'm really loving this so far so let's keep on going Bye. 
hiding from the rain because it just started raining quite a bit harder. The reason we're even out here, all of us together, is we are on property at another house, which is for their children. Their children. We're building a 200 plus thousand dollar swim pond, which we're gonna be showing you in the coming episodes here. So we've got a heck of a team here between Ed and April, Sean, Ralph, well, Ralph's just here for comedic relief. He's not really all that talented. And then you got Charlie and Alan. So all of us coming together to do something like this is really special. We don't generally get a chance to all work together on one project. It's usually just a couple of us. But for us all to come together and do something like this, that's gonna be worth watching. So make sure you look out for that. Yeah. All right, we like to do a little thing called Ralph's Challenge whenever Ralph is around. So Ralph, come on over here. We're gonna try this. I've never tried taking off the drone from my hand. So I'm not gonna use my hand because I might get hurt. But Ralph's gonna do it. Hold it nice and level, Ralph. Let's see what happens. Just fling oh, it towards you, right? You look like one of the garden sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, here we go. Ralph is going to get this thing to take off in his hand. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I am not a big fan of spiders, but that is a pretty cool sculpture back here. That's one of the things that I notice about this property is all the, the time taken picking and choosing things are gonna fit into all these gardens. The sculptures are amazing. All the plantings and the ground cover, the trees, all extremely well kept. This is a world-class garden. It's like a little rainforest back in here. There's these cool wood plank pathways, no more than 18 inches, two feet wide. And it's got this pondless waterfall that just wraps all the way through, down through the boardwalk. Just reappears here, tucks back underneath here, and all the way out to the end. They've got this zigzag of large outcropping stepping stones. What an amazing garden. Thank you, Ed, so much for taking us on a tour of this amazing property. These gardens were out of sight. Hope you really liked what you saw here today. Remember, subscribe below, hit that button, leave a comment, drop a like, whatever you feel like doing, and check us out. This whole crew is gonna be building an amazing water feature very shortly. See you soon. It's on the